Hello, I am Father Joe Herzing. I am the new pastor of Holy Spirit and St. Anthony, which is exciting me. That began July 1st, and I am the returning pastor to the Newman Center. And so these three parishes are our cluster, and I'll have Father Greg introduce himself. Well, I'm Father Greg Sauer. Uh, those of you at Holy Spirit and St. Anthony's uh, know me quite well, and I'm glad to be able to continue ministering to you. And I am looking forward to also being welcomed, uh, have been welcomed at uh, the Newman Center and working with uh, and ministering to those at the Newman Center. And so I'm looking forward to, as I work with Father Joe, to continue the ministry uh, in these three parishes. So we are three parishes, and then the bishop has asked us to come together in a larger cluster called an ACC. Now, maybe you've heard about this, maybe you haven't. We've been having meetings for about the past year, and it's the cooperation of six parishes. And so it's the three parishes of Newman, Holy Spirit, St. Anthony, and also St. Augs, St. John Cantius, and the cathedral. And so the six of us are in a, a group called an ACC, and the name we chose for our group is the All Called to Christ Catholic Community. Now, of course, it's, it's all kind of theory until you begin to change pastors and move things and have to change mass schedules. Then it really starts to make sense to look at what our neighbors are doing with their mass schedule too. So right now we'll have you take a look at the All Call to Christ ACC, Area Catholic Community that is, current weekend mass schedule. And so Holy Spirit, 4 and 9.30, St. Anthony's, 4.30, 9.15, St. Mary's Cathedral, 5, 9.45, 6 p.m., St. John Cantius, 7.30 and 10.30, Newman Center, 9, 11, 15, and 8 p.m. Church of St. Augs, 8 a.m., 10 a.m. Now, these all seem kind of all right, but we, of course, have had a change since July 1st. There used to be five pastors in our ACC, and now there are four. And so with the Father Tom leaving and only being replaced by a person who was already at the Newman Center, that has caused a difficulty. The bishop asks, and this is the guidelines, the priests do not more than three regularly scheduled masses on Saturday evening and Sunday morning. Of course, we can take a few more on Saturday morning and then throw a few weddings in there. That's why you limit it to three because we'll be at four or five a lot of times anyway on the weekend. The biggest difficulty, though, for us is the current mass schedule has 9 a.m. Newman, 9.15 St. Anthony, and 9.30 Holy Spirit. Father Greg maybe can be at two places at once. I haven't mastered that yet. But, Nor have uh, I. <laughs> so this will be our thing. So, that, so there, there will have to be a split in those three mass times so that two of those masses can be taken by one person. And so for July, you may say, how are you doing this for July? Because we're still doing it, right? Well, right now, we are not able to take those three masses, so we've had a fill-in priest. We'll have a fill-in priest all through July at one of those masses, and we'll rotate that around. And you may see a fill-in priest in July think, oh, those guys are on vacation again. No, we are actually out doing the other two masses. And... With those three Masses right at 9, 9, 15, 9, 30, we really only have two kind of times, either 9, 15, and then the 11, 15 at Newman. And of course, the 11, 15 at Newman is probably one of the ones, well, not probably, it is the one that is not going to happen at the Newman Center. So, as we started talking about the new Mass schedule, we had things that we thought were important. And we'll have Father Greg cover those. Yeah, so when we were looking at the mass schedule and some of the parameters that we needed to have in place for having this new schedule, uh, I, I want to go through some of those so you understand 
how we came up with the new schedule. So we needed to create a schedule that offers early morning, a mid morning, and a late morning option so that everybody has time, a time that works well for them, whether they're an early riser or a late riser, that they have a mass that they would, that works well for them. Also, we needed to create a schedule that allows a pre, an hour and 45 minutes between masses. So start times. Start times. Right. And so that gives us about 45 minutes after an average mass because we really want to talk to you. Like yes. To get to know you. You may know that between, between, uh, Saint, or between Holy Spirit and St. John Cantius, it used to be uh, just 15 minutes before, between the end of mass and the beginning of the next mass. And the unfortunate part about that was as a priest, I didn't have an opportunity to really greet the laity uh, after Mass at, at Holy Spirit. And so this allows us to have that opportunity to greet and to socialize and to be able to get to know our parishioners better. We also recognize the impact of COVID-19 on the current Mass attendance. Um, and we also desire, want to be able to live stream Masses because we know that uh, a lot of the people, uh, some of you probably, uh, watch the live stream Mass and that's a great ministry. And so we hope to be able to keep that going at least uh, for, for a little while. We also sought to consider uh, how the Mass schedule in our, in our cluster will impact the larger area Catholic community. We wanted to collaborate between our cluster and the other with the cathedral, St. Augs and St. John Cantius to work together to come up with a mass schedule so that we're not having competing interests, but that we can work together. So we've laid out where, where we hope to go. And so then it's like, how do you get there? How do you get a proposal that incorporates what we think we need to do and uh, incorporates the other piece of the ACC. And so after I was announced as pastor, this is also the great thing or the difficult thing about this. When you do not announce until May 25th that you're changing your cluster, the window for these things gets super thin. And you're also trying to finish up things at your other parishes and Father Tom was still here. And so, um, after I was announced as pastor July 1st, um, Father Scott and I met almost immediately with the ACC committee. As I had talked about, they've been meeting together for a year. And so little smaller group, we got two per parish instead of the three as normal, but got together and just said, okay, let's hammer out, let's look at the parameters, let's hammer out what could work. And so we did that. We got together with the ACC committee, came up with two proposals, two solid proposals with wiggle room on both of them for, you know, does it matter necessarily whether this mass is at 9, 9, 15, 9, 30? Well, not, it really doesn't. So, you know, we just put it in a place that, that could make it work with our parameters. And then at the ACC committee, we broke into two groups and each one, okay, you got one, you got 35 minutes to come up with a proposal. And we came up with two kind of different proposals. And then um, we have come back to our local parish councils. And so this past Tuesday night, we met with the three parish councils from our cluster. Father Scott will be, mis will be meeting with the three parish councils from his side of the ACC. And so then, We'll see how those proposals met. We'll go back to the ACC committee along with then going to the local parishes where there's wiggle room in the proposal and, and it's like, hey, you know, we can do this at 9, 9, 15, 9, 30, 8, 8, 15, 8, 30. What would be best for you to allow input on that? The other thing that we've decided on this plan, it is a one-year plan. And so starting next March or April, you know, I think we'll come back to the parish councils and said, should we review our Sunday mass times or is this working swimmingly and let us continue on? So just to know that it's a one year plan. So we came up with this proposal for the Newman Center, Holy Spirit and St. Anthony's. 
So for the Saturday schedule, we have 4 p.m. at Holy Spirit and 4.30 at St. Anthony's. That schedule is not changing from what we had previously. The Sunday schedule changes. So on Sunday, we have between 8 and 8.30 at St. Anthony's. So there's a little bit of, of wiggle room there between 8, 8.15 or 8.30 at St. Anthony's. And then at the Newman Center, we have between 9 and 9.30. And at Holy Spirit, we can go between 10.15, 10.45 and 10.45 at Holy Spirit. And then we would also keep the 8 p.m. Newman Mass as well, which, we've, which has been uh, there for a while. And so in this proposal, we've kind of mer- early, mid, mid, and later morning. We, we have our three time schedule. We kept Saturday the same, not totally ideal for me, but I think for a one year and with the COVID, it makes a lot of sense to continue with that. And so, like I said, March, April, we can see where we're at and rediscuss this. And then finally, the proposal that's going out to St. Mary, St. Aug, and St. John Cancers. As you can see here, um, so one of the proposals, St. Mary's at 5 o'clock, St. John Cancers, 7.30, St. Aug, 8 o'clock, St. Mary, 9.15, St. Aug, 9.45, St. John Cancers, 10.45, and St. Mary Cathedral, 6 p.m. And so there is, I think there might be a couple tweak, tweaks that they're doing in that schedule. And then when we get that final schedule from them matched up with ours, we'll go back to the ACC. How does this look across the whole ACC? And then we'll put it into place, hopefully, um, on the weekend of, I think it's August 2nd and 3rd. Is that correct? 3rd and 4th? Whatever the first weekend in August is. We'll, we'll try to put it in place for that. All right, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Father Greg. Thanks, Father Joe. Thanks, Scott, for videotaping. Nice to have you all here. God bless. Have a great day.